Hey, this is Emily at Oz Inflatable Kayaks and I'm going to talk to you about the drop stitch floor. The drop stitch floor is essentially a floor, looks like this, only it's stitched top to bottom all the way through. And what that means is you can inflate it to very high pressure and it becomes rigid and it's a performance enhancer. It essentially enhances the rigidity of the kayak, which means it goes faster, it tracks straighter. It also increases the buoyancy of the kayak a little bit because the soft floor that comes with the kayak doesn't hold as much air as the drop stitch floor because this is a low pressure floor. Now the drop stitch floor comes as standard with the Advanced Frame Convertible Elite and the Advanced Frame Expedition Elite kayaks. So you really only would purchase it as an accessory with the Advanced Frame Sport, the Advanced Frame Kayak or the Advanced Frame Convertible Kayak. Note that although it's possible to put it into the Advanced Frame Ultralight Kayak, it's not actually recommended and it kind of defeats the purpose of buying that kayak because it increases the weight of the kayak. Whereas when you use it in the sport, for example, you take out the soft floor and you put in the drop stitch floor and they weigh the same. So it doesn't actually change the weight of your kayak. Now to put it in is simple as pie. The valve here is at the back and you just shove it in. Make sure your valve is set to the inflate position, which means the little yellow bit on the inside is sticking up. You'll need to use your HR valve adapter. And inflate. Okay, now this drop stitch floor inflates to between four to six PSI. Whether you go to four to six is really up to you. You do whatever you need to get good performance. Um, the soft floor in comparison is one PSI, so you can see it's a significant increase in pressure and therefore rigidity. And we pop the valve cap on. And let's test it. So the first thing you notice with the drop stitch floor, not quite as cushy under the bum as the soft floor. I'm gonna go for a paddle, see how it behaves. Inflatable kayaks testing out the drop stitch floor in the Advanced Frame Sport kayak. I'm definitely sitting a lot higher in the water and a lot higher in the kayak than with the soft floor and with the soft floor and backbone combination. There's still a tiny bit of yaw, a tiny bit of waggle in the kayak, similar to when I paddle it with the soft floor. I think the backbone probably reduces the yaw a little bit better, but the speed is good. There is definitely a difference in the speed with the drop stitch floor in this kayak. Now part of the reason I'm waggling a tiny bit is that I'm only 55 kilograms and when you add a drop stitch floor in, it really increases the buoyancy of the kayak. So the bow with the aluminium rib is not as low in the water for me in this combination or this setup. Well, it's great. I sit a lot higher in the water. I'd probably be a bit more wind affected if it was a windy day, actually. Um, there's a tiny bit of waggle when I stroke, um, probably a bit more than with the backbone, but about the same as with nothing, no performance enhancement at all. But the speed was great. It really, that extra rigidity, that extra buoyancy, it really zooms along across the chop really well. I was very impressed. Now, if you have any further questions about the drop stitch floor, please don't hesitate to get in touch. This is Emily at Oz Inflatable Kayaks. Music